unaona nini around you? Ni nini ambacho unakiona? Barabara, magari, viti, meza, taa, picha, chochote kile ambacho unakiona, nguo ambazo tumezivaa, chochote kile ambacho tunaona kwa macho yetu. Ni vitu ambavyo vilianza katika akili ya binadamu. Kilianza katika akili yake akaona mmm naweza kutengeneza hichi kitu kama alichora kama aliandika kama aliplan ndio maana vipo ila vilianza katika akili ya binadamu hii ikanifanya niwanze maisha tusiangalie kile sehemu ambayo tupo ndo akili yetu ikawaza uko katika situation ambayo unaona kabisa hapa sitaki kuwepo usiweke akilini inanipa mwongozo wa kusema kwamba mmm Akili yangu inabidi iwaze pale ambako ninataka niwe. Kuna nyumba fulani naitaka. Akili yangu ndio inabidi iwe. Nisiangalie sasa hivi napangisha nyumba. Hii rent ambayo nakuwa nadaiwa kila mwezi ni nyingi. Au gari ambayo naliendesha sasa hivi nisiliangalie, bali niangalie kule ambako ninataka kwenda. Topic ya leo tutaenda ku discuss ni ku manifest what you want in a positive way it is something ambako um, ambacho ninafanya nina practice i see and i continue to see so today nikasema why not let's share this topic so that we can do together kwa sababu chochote kile ambacho tunatakiwa kukiona au we want tunataka katika maisha yetu inabidi tuanze sasa hivi kukiwaza na hata kama kuweka picha katika kuta katika kuta zetu karibuni katika kipindi cha tujengane na Pamela, stay tuned. Hii ambayo naenda kuisema next, ndio hii ambayo nitaenda kuonyesha au kwenda ku prove the power ya mawazo yetu, the power of fikra zetu. Ni kitu gani? Ki, vitu ambavyo tumekuwa tunawaza ndio kile ambacho kienda kutupelekea kufanikiwa au kufail katika maisha yetu. Sasa naenda kuongelea katika nyanja hizi mbili kisayansi imekuwa proven na spiritually biblically moja nianze kisayansi uh, there's this word that's called pygmalion effect au rosenthal effect uh, refers to a phenomenon in which the greater the expectation placed upon people ambako inaweza kawa employees inaweza kawa students inaweza kawa children the the higher the the results kwa hiyo ni psychological effect. Eh? Kana kwamba wanasema unapokuwa una place upon these people kama ni wafanyakazi, kama ni wanafunzi, eh? kama ni watoto, eh? pale ambako unakuwa unawasifia na kuambia kwamba unaweza. Wanasema results zake ni yani wanakuwa wana, wana perform zaidi. Yeah? The, the, the higher they perform. Kwa hiyo imekuwa proven katika makazi, uh, unakuwa una wafanyakazi ambao labda performance yao ni ndogo lakini bosi ambaye ana practice e Rosenthal effect au Pygmalion effect anaenda anamwambia nakupa hii project naamini unaiweza i trust you i trust you can do this wanasema yule mtu anavyoenda akirudi performance yake inakuwa imeenda juu kuliko ile ya last anapokuwa anaendelea kuambiwa na kuambiwa kumbe nenda inakaa katika akili akili yake inakuwa inamwambia kama bosi ameniambia naweza 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 kwa anakuwa anapata ile nguvu ya naweza naweza kwa watoto kwa sisi ambao tuna watoto kama una mtoto ambaye anafeli-feli hmm? anapata kama ni tano chini ya mia, sifuri chini ya mia, chonde chonde usimwambie wewe mtoto ni wa sifuri sifuri kwa nini unafeli eh yani wewe hao ni mtoto ni zero kabisa hiyo inakuwa inamaffect kisaikolojia kujiona kwamba yeye ni zero kwa fikra zake anakuwa anaona hawezi na hata kuja kuweza. Ila, hii Pygmalion effect imekuwa proven hata kwa mtoto ambaye anashindwa, anapata sifuri chini ya mia. Kwa yule mzazi ambaye atakuwa anamwambia mtoto wake anaangalia zile marks na kumwangalia na kumwambia mtihani mwingine utaweza. It's not easy najua, sio rahisi, lakini ni kitu ambacho kinawezekana ni effect ambayo imekuwa proven kisayansi na tutaenda kuona kibiblia. Mwambie huyo mtoto I trust you. I love you na ninajua unaweza. Hii sifuri don't worry. Hii mbili chini ya mia wana tosio na wasiwasi wasi nayo. Utaweza, you know? This is just life. Haya ni maisha tu utaweza. Akili yule mtoto anakuwa anawaza. Kwa mimi naweza. 
kumbe mimi naweza imekuwa proven watoto wanaenda wana perform high high kwa hiyo nikawaza sasa nikasema ni kweli kwa sababu hata environment ambayo unakuwa una create katika nyumba yako mimi nikawaza sana sana ki, ki, like, hata kwa watoto wangu kwa vitu ambavyo unakuwa nafanya Uh, unakuwa na create atmosphere ya positivity hiyo ni spiritual ya positivity ya love ya kuona kwamba naweza alafu atmosphere ya humo ndani inakuwa very calm inakuwa ya, ya ushindi ushindi tu ukiangalia proverbs 18:24 proverbs 18:24 21 proverbs 18:24 au 18:21 i'm sorry itakuwa ni one of those um inasema um Tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will enjoy its fruits. Kwa hiyo ina 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 hope, ina ina love there, ina life, unaona eh? Ina matumaini kwamba uli, ulimi una una nguvu ya kutoa maisha au kifo. Na kwa wale ambao wanaopenda kwa ulimi, ni wale ambao watakuwa wanaongea mazuri mazuri. Ndio wataenda kuenjoy matunda yake. Kwa hiyo kama unaumwa usijiambie naumwa yani mimi jamani jiambie mimi nimepona mimi nina nguvu ukijiona huwezi jiambie naweza naweza hata mawazo yako yatakuwa yanakuwa ni yale ya kuweza weza kama mtoto ana feli feli kama tulivyosema sema unaweza unaweza mimi kuna kitu one of my children one of my kids alikuwa hawezi ilikuwa ni il, kuna kitu alikuwa hawezi lakini nikaitrick my mind nikasema kwa sababu alafu i didn't know sije nisemeje kitu sikuja kama nina apply hiyo rosenthal effects au pigmelian effect i didn't know but i just thought hmm, nimemgombesa sana huyu mtoto yani namsema tu katika hichi kitu namsema tu namsema tu mbona anaendelea mbona anaendelea anyway na nilidiscuss na mume wangu tuka discuss tukaongea tukasema eh, labda sasa hivi tutu tunamsifia tuone labda tutu tunamsifia eh labda hii inamjengea fear yani we just came from a different corner and um thinking about it now and i'm like okay kumbe we applied it kumbe it's proven and it worked kwa hiyo tukawa tumefanya reverse kumwambia kwamba hii kitu unaweza hii unaweza au alikuwa hata akija aki 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 yani sio kifanyeje you know you bite your tongue it's not easy lakini kwa sababu tulikuwa tunataka kuona kile katika maisha yake tulikuwa tunataka kuona mafanikio katika maisha yake mfano hata kwa mtoto ambaye anafeli hutaki kuona anafeli kwa hiyo inabidi uangalie kama tulivyosema definition ya mwanzo kwamba um, ni kitu gani ambacho unataka kukiona si ndio unataka kuona mtoto aliyefanikiwa anayefaulu you know mtoto ambaye ana flourish mtoto ambaye yuko happy ambaye yuko content kwa ni vitu ambavyo inabidi uwe unamwambia ili kikae katika kili yake akiwa ana kiwanza akiwa anapata hiyo energy si ndio anakuwa anakuwa kuwa lakini sasa ukiwa unamwambia hichi kitu uwezi yani wewe umeshindikana yani sijui wewe nini sijui it doesn't work quite that way kwa hiyo we have to work hard at manifesting what we want around ourselves kama una kampuni around kampuni yako kama sisi ambao tuna watoto familia we have to manifest upon our children kwa sababu they hawazaliwa kiwa perfect wanakuwa wanakosea hiki na hiki na hiki lakini ni kazi yetu Uh, kuwa encourage na kuwa uplift. Mimi huaga mara kwa mara najiambiaga it is my fault. Kama kuna kitu ambacho kinakuwa kina go wrong, alafu ninakuwa nakikandamiza in a negative way it is my fault. Kazi yetu sisi ni ku ni ku apply positivity kwa watoto wetu kuwajenga ili wawe kile ambacho tunataka wawe. Yeah? Wawe good citizens wawe na, na, na kama ni good be, kama una, una, una challenging behaviors you know speak positive speak positive speak like kitu ambacho unataka kukiona imekuwa proven kisayansi imekuwa proven biblically imekuwa proven spiritually kwamba kile ambacho unakisema ndio kile ambacho kinakuja i hope uh, tumepata something i hope uh, tutaendelea ku practice Um, ili tu tuweze kuona tuweze kufika pale ambako tunataka kufika that is with positive thinking na na yes greater you know manifest whatever you want in your manifest good vibes manifest a good life kama ni 
kama ni nyumba amazing nyumba unataka kuijenga iweke ukutani why not you can alafu kitu gani nilikuwa naanza nasema kama huyo ile gundua taa aliweza ni very hard au kwa yule ambaye amegundua the first car kana kaijenga au yule ambaye amejenga daraja au yule ambaye amejenga the tallest building hata building ya ya stories nane you know akaweza akaijenga sasa mimi kweli nitashindwa kuji kuweka mawazo yangu kwa maisha ambayo nataka niwe nayo eh nashindwa kweli kumwazia mtoto wangu kwamba you know nikimwambia i love you na kupenda na kupenda kwamba inamjenga kwamba inampa confidence kweli nashindwa hicho tu hatuwezi kushindwa kweli mimi na wewe kweli tushindwe au ni shindwa kweli kujiwanzia tu kakajumba tu yani kajumba amazing ambacho labda kina ka river au kina ka swimming yeah, and just just that is small ukikompare na wale ambao wameanza mambo makubwa makubwa so i was like mm, i can i can do this manifestation thing i can i can so yes i am practicing it i will continue to practice it na nitakuja kuwaletea majibu hapa and let's please practice together ili tuwe na maisha ambayo tunataka tuwe nayo na tusiangalie our current situation muwe na amazing time and mpaka hapo utakapoonana tena please support and share kwa yule ambao unaisi inaweza kumsaidia kwa heri